Well, good happy evening. Wednesday evening, Drover Cowboy Church. Uh, as you can tell, uh, we're another night of uh, doing this video thing, and we're not able to be inside the church building like we have been uh, on the Wednesday night Bible study. And uh, if you just remember back uh, last week, we finished up uh, the book of Galatians, and we was there in the awesome book of Galatians for... Oh, shoot, I guess it was about eight, nine, ten months. I mean, it was just a long ride through there, but it was an awesome, awesome book. And uh, I pray you just keep going back and uh, living out the truths that we learned there. And I know <coughs> before we, excuse me, <coughs> before we left out Wednesday night, we uh, I said we was pretty sure we was going to start on the book of James. And I, I really feel led to to go ahead and start on the book of James, but uh, I don't want to do that until we start meeting back up in groups uh, in person inside the building. But uh, I do got a little uh, a little message on my heart, a little devotional, uh, encouraging word, however you want to look at it. Uh, uh, it, it is a very, very big truth uh, in the Bible. It's over in the book of Hebrews. It's over in chapter 4. And uh, just starting at, it's, it's three simple verses there. It's verse 14, 15, and 16. And my question to you, uh, before I read this, is uh, going through the times that we're going through now uh, with, with the, the, the coronavirus and, uh, and just the flu and, and all kinds of sickness going around. And just seems like uh, we get over one thing and it's, it's something else and... And uh, and it's how the sickness is is affecting everything else around us. So there's people getting laid off, businesses are closing up. Uh, I know a lot of the economy is still going, but guys, uh, we don't know where we're going to be at this time next week or, or next uh, this time next month uh, with our own businesses or or even big businesses with our jobs. But uh, I would just like to remind you that uh, God is listening and Jesus is still on the throne. And uh, my question is: Is are you tempted to go back? Are you are 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 you tempted to go back to where you was uh, five years ago, or ten years ago, or thirty years ago, or before you got saved and before you really real got real with God? Are you tempted to go back? Are you tempted to just give up? Uh, uh, are, are you tempted through the the loneliness and the confusion and the maybe the the depressed times that we're going through right now? Uh, I think we can all get there in our flesh uh, if we don't just calm down and uh, and just be still and be quiet and remember what God has told us in His Word. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4, uh, verse 14. And the Bible says, Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens. Listen, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. And that's what I was talking about, uh, hold fast to our confession, because uh, I think so many times we can let the Lord go and we can uh, grab on to uh, what we think is right or uh, we, we want to make uh, a fast, uh, irrational, uh, unwise decisions in, in so many areas in our lives. Uh, we can let fear overtake us and, and, and anger overtake us and, and not be Christ-like and not make wise uh uh, Christian choices that we're supposed to be making and uh, so easily to just turn away and, and get distracted and look away from God when we really don't even mean to. But the, the, the writer here in Hebrews says to let us hold fast to our confession and that's, that's Jesus Christ is who we confess if you are truly a Christian. In verse 15, uh, it says, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses. No, God is able. He says we don't have a, a, a make-believe God. We don't have a high priest in, in heaven on the throne of grace that, that, that is unable. God is, is, is able in, in every area of our life. Uh, it, it, so many times we, we want to see God coming when He's already there. And we, we want to see the, the results. And we want to see Him move uh, on our time. And guys, it's, it's, it's so easy. It's so easy to just give up. And want to go back. But listen. He says. Who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses. But one who in every respect has been tempted as we are. Yet without sin. 
So Jesus has been tempted. Jesus has been set on trial. Jesus was on trial at the cross. And even though he was, he was sinless and he was perfect, uh, God made him who knew no sin to be sin for us. Uh, even though Jesus passed all the tests, even though Jesus turned away in temptation, uh, he stood there uh, in place with us. So now when we're covered in the blood of Christ, we have someone to lean on. We have a, a, a rock to stand on. We have a firm foundation. And don't forget that. Don't let the devil, don't let the world, don't let depression or the news media come in and steal that from you and rob that from you. Because uh, uh, God does not want that. But I'm telling you, everybody else that's against God, uh, every demon in hell wants you to feel like that. He wants you to look at uh, this whole situation, uh, even past this. Because guys, there's always going to be a valley to go through. Uh, it, it just seems like, wow, yesterday I was on top of the mountain. Now I'm down in this valley with, with the, the briars and the brambles and, uh, and the weeds. And I just can't see. But you know what? God's going to bring us through that. In verse 16, the writer says, Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. He says, Let us then with confidence. Has God given you confidence? Has God given you some assurance? When you were saved and the Holy Spirit came to live inside of you, do you... Feel that confidence? Do you trust Him? You know, that's what confidence is, is trust. It, it comes from the, from, 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 from the very being of faith. That's what faith is. God, I don't know what you're doing. God, I, I can't see past tomorrow, God, but you're going to be there. It tells us to draw near the throne of grace, the big, uh, gr great throne of grace, that God has so much grace. That He meets our every need. Uh, and we just have to come humble to that every day. Every morning, God, I need your grace. God, I bow down before that throne of grace. God, give me the grace that I need to get through the day, God. And it says that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. And guys, we are in a time of need right now. Every day of our lives, we're, we're in a time of need. And when is the world going to wake up? You know, uh, I mean, this is a worldwide thing. I know I use the, the word world very tightly right here, but I'll stretch it out. This is a worldwide uh, epidemic that we're going through right now. It's a worldwide virus, sickness. When are we going to wake up? Guys, it's the church's job. It's the church's job to be on par right here. And to be Christ-like and to calm down. And not just to be trying to hoarder everything in and, and be greedy and grab this and grab that. But to stand firm in who God has called us to be. And not to freak out, not to spaz out. But to go over and love on our neighbor. Help our neighbor. Help a stranger. Hey, bow down and, and, and just get over ourselves. And say, hey man, let, let me pray for you. Let me help you. Hey, I, I, I know somebody over here that, uh, man, he, 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 he can help you out. Man, can, uh, can I tell you about a man named Jesus? Can we lead him to Christ? Can we be who, who Jesus Christ has called us to be? Guys, it's going to take us calming down and getting back to the Word of God. And I believe that we could be living in the biggest revival known to man right now if we would just do that. I'm going to leave you with that, guys. Uh, guys, are you tempted to turn back or are you going to keep on going forward? Are you going to keep running the race that God has set before us? Because I tell you, He is on the other end and He is with us as we are going. He just wants us to go and be not hearers only, but be doers of the Word. To be Christ-like, to be Christians in this deep, dark scared day of time right now guys i hope y'all have a blessed night and a blessed rest of the week and uh we'll be back in touch with you before you know it god bless good night